If you're not a computer programmer or an electronics expert and you want to light and automate your model railroad, then Arduino is the solution for you. But sometimes it could be intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to make a simple solution even simpler. I'm Tom Kovichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. Welcome to the introduction of Arduino Made Easy. I'm going to show you how you can automate and light your model railroad with Arduino. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about Arduino and about Arduino with model railroading. Now I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible for you if you don't know anything about computer programming and electronics. That's where I come in. Sometimes when people explain things, they assume that you already know what they're talking about or have a general idea. Well, I learned the hard way years ago that I had to teach myself computer programming. When I asked for help, it was just like, Everything went over my head because I was talking to people that knew what they were talking about but didn't realize that I didn't know what I was talking about and they put it into terms that I couldn't understand. I'm going to be the beginner right here along with you and going through these projects with you. And like always, I'm going to put a link in the description of either the code that I'm using or where you could find the code that I'm using. Arduino has a lot of sample codes that I showed you in Shout Out Monday evening in this past week. Now I'll show it to you again here. And Adafruit has a lot of lessons in there. And you could also go on some other channels make adafruit and spark fun where you could learn arduino and even raspberry pi which is a little bit different subject than arduino but uh, we may touch into that a little bit later on i'm going to put it to you in as simple terms as possible because i don't know that much i did some computer programming but the way i learned was i read the books and when i read the books I tried to do it and then worked from there. And that was many, many years ago. And I forgot just about everything that I know about it. So I'm going to be starting over with it. Basically, the hardest part of a sketch is learning the syntax. You know what you want to do, but how do you put it into code? That is the hardest part that you have to figure out. And that's where we're going to work on on this series about Arduino. How we're going to put our ideas into that code. So let's get started with that right after this. If you would like to see more videos like this on Arduino and on model railroading, lighting your model railroading, automating your model railroading, or even model railroading for beginners, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell and you'll be notified whenever I have a new video coming out. I have a lot of videos out there on every subject that you can imagine and they're in my playlist. Just click on the link in the playlist down below and you'll find anything in that category about model railroading. So go take a look at those playlists. So let's get started with this right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is... Get yourself an Arduino Uno version 3. This is what I got. It's an older version. This is an SMD version right here. You can see the small chip on it. Usually there's a long one on there. But anyone will do. Since it's open source, you can get it from any manufacturer. From Arduino itself, it's about $22. I bought one recently at Amazon for about $10. And... Later on, we'll talk about the smaller ones that are about that big, the Nanos, which you can get three for $10 or something like that. But anyway, get yourself an Arduino Uno. That's what we're going to be working on with our projects on here. Then go to the Arduino webpage, Arduino.com. 
dot cc let's get you over there this is what the arduino web page looks like when you get on there for the first time it has a lot of stuff on there telling you about what you could do and what different boards and everything else but first thing we want to do is go over to software and download the ide arduino ide now you could do you could do it on the web with your browser and i'll show you a little bit later how to do that also but we're going to download the ide you could do it with windows mac or linux okay windows installer for windows xp and up so it'll work with windows xp all the way up to windows 10. and since i already have it i'll just go over to just download in arduino windows but that's all you have to do it and you just you know whenever you're finished go down if you're on windows go down to the bottom of your page and you could click on the file right down there or go to wherever you have it in your download but what we're going to show you is what it looks like and that's the arduino ide opening up right now this is a sketch that i was working on the other day so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our examples basics and i'll show you the blink okay this is the program that is loaded on to arduino and all it does is it blinks the built-in led which is on pin 13. i'm going to show you how easy it is to put a program onto the arduino board the first time that you're going to use your board on your computer you're going to have to go to tools and you're going to have to tell it what board that you're going to be using now since mine's already on there see it says arduino genuino uno and you're going to have to see a port which is port com one on here now if you're on in uh, on a mac it's going to you're going to have a bunch of different uh, com ports on there so you'll have to choose which one it is but anyway that's what you're going to have to do you're going to have to select what board you have and what com port before you could upload anything to that board and what i'm going to do is we're going to hook this board up and i have my usb cable right here and we'll just plug it right in okay now right now it's not doing anything it, you know you just have the power on light and light number 13 is on well the reason that's on is because of the program that i was working on that i had on there but let me show you how easy it is to download it now I, now you can see over here the right the right pointing arrow i'm going to click and you're going to see down here a couple of these leds flashing back and forth First, it compi it's compiling it right now, and once it finishes compiling, you can see this right here. And for some reason, it's taken a long time to compile. I mean, it's an easy sketch. <laughs> now you can see the lights were blinking right there. And as, this is the onboard pin 13. It's blinking right there. So you can see it's easy as that to upload a program to the arduino so let's do something different on there i'm going to change the delay on here and later on we'll tell you what the delay is and we'll do something else but i'm just going to show you how easy it is to change something on here on this first one we'll compile it okay now it's compiled you could see the information over here and then we'll upload it and you'll see the lights flashing now pin 13 stays on for two seconds and is out for two seconds and that's that's as easy as it is you could even hook up an LED to pin 13 and to the power 
either 3.3 or 5 with a resistor in there and it'll do the same thing it'll light up an LED there also so over here that's how easy it is to put a program on your Arduino let's take a look at the resources available in the IDE bring it up over here now if you go to file and you'll notice that I pulled up examples and these are the built-in examples and as you can see basic digital analog communications controls sensors displays strings USB starter kit basic kit Arduino ISP there are a lot of the examples in here and each one of these examples is let's go to analog serial and every one of these examples on here is explained on the Arduino website and you can see each one of them has a sketch where to get it on the website it'll bring up the website for that and analog in out serial so you can see and it gives you examples and the code for it also in the examples now I've downloaded some and let me get it over here I downloaded some Adafruit Circuit Playground Commanders DCCPP now this is model railroad related DCCPP DC and DCC and NMRA DCC now all of these are model railroad related but you could go on the web anywhere and Google sketches for Arduino and be able to find anything that you possibly want you could download it to your computer and and I'll show you a little bit later in the next video how you could put it into here so you could find it easily but we're just going to start off with this showing you how many examples there are in here but preferences usually you don't have to change anything in preferences and the only thing that I think I changed on here was the font size for the editor uh, you have a, a sketchbook location I just left it to, to the default which is the, your user in the documents Arduino and uh, I didn't mess with that all I changed on here was the editor font so I could see it a little bit better you also have the option of going online and working on an editor there and let me show you how to do that one okay we're back in the Arduino web page and we'll go to software and go to online tools and you can see that this page comes up right here Arduino web editor now there's a lot of different things that you could click on here and we'll go into that a little bit later but I'll just show you how you could download the web editor now I had to get an incognito window to do this but first thing you're gonna have to do is create an account and once you uh, create an account you, you know you just do all these put your username password confirm password and email and you'll come up with and for me online tools when that happens it comes up with my web editor but that's how it that's the way it's going to look and let me show you a few things on here okay now since I'm already I was already logged into this and it came up with the last thing that I was working on and I was working on a, on a project with the servo but let me go back to examples basic blink and here's the same code that I showed you in the IDE so whether you want to work on the web browser or in the IDE it doesn't make a difference they both work the same in the next episode I'm going to show you a little bit more we're going to go a little bit further into this but this is just the introduction right here to Arduino made easy so I hope this is easy enough for you to understand we'll be taking it step by step so you can understand what's going on with 
your Arduino and the sketches. So we'll see you next time.